Hello everybody, uh, so what I've been doing uh, for today, being Metroid's 30th anniversary, is doing a special Metroid Prime video. And But before we got into that, I figured it, uh, I'd invite the guy who set up Metroid to 30th. Hello. Hello. So, Hi. This is like an impromptu interview. We hated, we didn't script this because I'm 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 like that, and I'm just gonna just rattle off. So, how did you start off with the, uh, the sort of Metro Thirty thing? It, it kind of goes back from what I've done previously. So, yeah, I'm I'm Darren for a start, hey, uh, and I hi, <laughs> and, and I put together a, a Metroid community called Shine Spark, as you might have heard of it. Um, and basically, I've I've been trying to promote the anniversary of Metroid when it was 25 and Nintendo didn't do much so I put together an album called Harmony of a Hunter Ooh, I remember that one. and it just kind of and it kind of spiraled from there and this year I with it being 30 years I just wanted to do something so I thought that I would create a community uh, just purely to promote uh, the, the anniversary and the games and the creative talents of the fans because there's so many amazing artists musicians writers just so many people I just wanted to bring them all together and i wanted to highlight all of their creative talents and you know basically just share it with with other fans and i wanted to just kind of reach out to nintendo a bit and say hey look at what your fans are doing and that's kind of what i i wanted to do it, it, it must have been a great idea because it's just got over three thousand followers yeah. Um, yeah. and it seems to be growing even further so i'm, I'm quite happy with with how far it's gone um so yeah you'll find that i've always got my hand in something metroid related and i, I always try to speak about the series positively it's something that means a lot to me it's something that's inspired me and um and, and yeah and that's what I, that's my contribution this year for the anniversary i think you did a really good job as well and i'll agree uh you've i mean the fact that the metro 30th uh, sort of community has grown so big so fast is i think a uh, sort of a sign to how popular the series is and like sort of how willing the fans are to get together and just do fun stuff i mean absolutely nintendo might forget but we don't yeah, unfortunately, I mean, you can't defend Nintendo on this, sadly. I, I used to, I used to think, oh, well, maybe it's because Zelda's 25, and maybe that's the focus this year. But no, they just they just do not care, sadly. Um, they, they, it's very hard to defend them. Um, they, they could very easily just make a small you know a small contribution just saying yeah you know this series that we know is really loved and cherished uh you know we recognize it happy 30th anniversary um but nothing nothing at all which is just really sad um but that's what it is and the best way to approach that is rather than complaining about it just celebrate regardless you know show that you you still care you still love a series uh and, and just do it for yourself you know and and talk to other fans and make friends and uh and just embrace it really um and that's kind of what i'm trying to promote with the with the account no i agree completely and uh, i mean we've worked together haven't we before on uh, metroid -y things what did we do last time we did a stream didn't we I think we did. Yes, you did something for um, for one of my streams. Yes, it was a while ago it now. Was, it was um, a couple of years, wasn't it? Must, mm, have must have been. Yeah, but you tend to pull in a good audience, which is always welcome. So <laughs> well, we got we got definitely got some Metroid fans on the channel. Um, not strictly yeah. horror related, which is where my basis usually comes from. But Ooh. I always feel if I yell about Metroid enough, at least some people will listen. That's uh, that's always my yeah. uh, my goal. And <laughs> sort of relating to that, really, I've been I'll, I'm later on yelling about Metro Prime for about thirty minutes. So I've got to ask you: you obviously you must have played Metro Prime, and uh, so what what are your thoughts on the game? Metro Prime was my first Metroid game. Uh, it was given to me by a very good friend of mine uh, at the time in in the US. Uh, he sent over his copy. He said, "Darren, you've got to play this game. It's fantastic." And I didn't really care too much. I, I was still playing like Pokemon or whatever back then. So when I was playing um, Metroid, and I was I was just absolutely amazed by the atmosphere at the music and and just things like the the raindrops kind of the water kind of falling oh, on Samus's yeah, visor in Talon 4 <laughs> um you know and it was just it was like wow what is this game you know th this is fantastic I'm I'm so I've just got to keep playing it and and I did and I just I just fell in love with the series after that I just I played every single game and I, I just I just felt inspired. I, I wanted to write about it. I wanted to find out more about it. I wanted to interview these people. I wanted to find out exactly what made them 
you know help them make this game and um and and i did and that's why i created shine spark as, as, as a community i wanted to bring fans together um and yeah, Metroid Prime is the start of all of that for me, really. Uh, it's just a fantastic game. I, I just absolutely love it. I mean, I, I agree with you completely. Um, I mean, I think the words I use later in the video is the word atmosphere. I think I used to do it so often, I think you probably make a drinking game out of it. Uh, I think <laughs> it oozes atmosphere. Uh, I don't think there's many games like that where you can get yourself 100% immersed into it. Um, interesting that was your first one as well. Um, yeah, yeah. How well, do you I, feel I going even... backwards? Like, obviously playing Prime and then seeing, like, Metroid 1, 2, and 3 previous. I didn't even know that Super Metroid existed. I went out to buy Metroid Prime 2 and the guy in Game Station was saying to me, oh, have you played Super Metroid? And I was like, what's Super Metroid? He laughed at me, <laughs> went into the back room, got a cartridge for Super Metroid and said, do yourself a favor, play this game. It was like five ninety nine or something, absolute bargain. He said, play this game, you won't regret it. Um, and he was right, and I don't, and it's an amazing game. Again, in terms of classic games... That was definitely the one that made me look into the rest of the series and think, mm, actually, I need to play all of these games. Um, I'm still not a fan of the original Metroid. I think it's way too difficult. Um, but I love Zero Mission. Uh, yeah, there's just there's some really good games. But Metroid Prime, for me, it was, it was the first game that just encouraged me to want to play more Metroid and more games, actually, in general. I, I From there, I've played more sci-fi games, you know, like Mass Effect and Halo, and I, I, I adore those types of games now. Um, yeah, and, and I think Samus as a character is is, is inspirational. Um, you know, someone that, as, as a character that's gone through so much uh, shit, basically. I don't, can you swear on your channel? If not, never mind. Uh, Cut that out. No, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure we can add the, the odd rude word will be fine i'm sure <laughs> but yeah but she's gone through all of this and you know her parents have died and stuff and and she's constantly just having one bad thing happen to her after another but yet she still remains um you know, you know a nice a nice character someone that, that does good and 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 treats people with respect and it's great to have a very strong female protagonist uh, is it, a lead role in, in a game. I think that's 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 really cool. And to think that she was one of the first, and you know, and, and more strong female characters since then have been present uh, in in games it, it is great. Um, yeah, I had no idea that she uh, that Samus was a female. Uh, I thought uh, she was a robot um, when I played Melee. So it was uh, it was quite a surprise. So that's quite funny. Um, so, I mean, um, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I I uh, well, I mean my first Metro game was uh, Super Metroid. Uh, I mm -hmm. was oh, what was I nineteen ninety three? I didn't five or six, and my dad brought it home and uh, he played it. But of course, it says all in the instruction books that Samus is a female and everything, so it wasn't too much of a surprise for me. So of course, when yeah. I when the internet era came around, everyone was like, "Oh, I never realised." I was I was always like quite surprised. I was like, "It was all in the book," but I'm thinking <laughs> like the people who never never knew that or went into Prime Fresh or something, you wouldn't necessarily know that. I mean. You can see her eyes and the visor and things, but you're not going to necessarily yeah. twig until perhaps the end of the game or anything, you know? Mm. Which I think is still one of the sort of funny, big surprises in gaming, and I think that's uh, yeah. one of the more interesting ones as well. Yeah. No, it, it was... Uh, I mean, there's, there's just so much that I could say about it, but for some reason I just can't find the words. It's just... I've just... As as I've uh, recorded this review, I've just come out of, like, a, a two-and-a-half-hour podcast, and I've been talking about it const constantly, so I'm just, like mentally exhausted at this point yeah sorry i did I... rope you in at like 11 <laughs> o'clock at night to do this oh, that's so. okay that's fine yeah anything for metroid but yes it's uh, it's definitely a, a worthy title and uh i can understand why people want to see more of that um and hopefully one day we'll get a metroid prime 4 or a game like it in that sort of style maybe with a new story um and i, I really hope that there's room for a, a classic style game in there as well maybe after the events of metroid fusion so we can find out a bit more about about Samus's story because we haven't really got any answers. No, we that. haven't. It's uh, sort of like the end point of the story. And I'm, I'm convinced we will see something. I think we'll see both a 3D one and a 2D one at some point in the future. I don't think. I really hope so. People, what people worry. They see, they see Metroid or the M as a change for what happened. They see Federation Force as a change. I, I don't think this is Nintendo. Nintendo will always try things. Nintendo always will always continue to try things. This is the last we've seen of Samus. I don't think. 
Mm. I mean, I think other companies, if they see a game not selling, they'll shelf it and that's it. They won't go back to it. But I think Nintendo, I don't think they have that mindset. I think they'll experiment with an idea. If it doesn't work out, sure, they might rest it for a while, but I know that they'll come back to it because I, I do feel that they do cherish their franchises, their IPs. Um, and I, I can understand the reasons behind Federation Force. I know that it's not everybody's favourite game. It's not the game that people want right now. But hopefully that is more of a... I'm, I'm really hoping it was a game that was considered a sort of an, an additional game to a bigger game, like a, a Metro Prime 4, for example. But maybe that game got delayed and will be on NX. Uh, it's maybe wishful thinking. Uh, I think that's, I think that's reasonably up. likely. Um, I, I yeah. think... Not having a, I think not seeing a Metro game on NX would be surprising, especially mm-hmm. with the, what the rumours we're hearing about what the NX might or might not be as well. I think that a portable on the move home console hybrid Metroid thing would be quite interesting. Maybe a mixture of 2D and 3D. Who knows? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's there's so many possibilities for something that we have very little idea about. I, I think in a few months. Um, if we look back at this and we think, oh yeah, what what's what's the NX? What we thought it was then compared to now, um, you know, maybe we'll get a clear indication of the sort of Metroid game that we could have on there. I really hope we do get more Metroid, and I hope it's the traditional Metroid game that everyone wants. I really do. I think that's you know, this shouldn't be the end of Metroid, and I really hope that Nintendo decide, you know, sees that it has value, and they should respect their uh, their fan base. Uh, by acknowledging that anniversary, um, the, the sooner the better, really. Um, hopefully, <laughs> on this. Uh, hopefully, on the day this goes out, the sixth. Maybe, maybe we get lucky. Maybe uh, we'll see some tweets from Nintendo on the sixth. And uh, yeah, you never know. Well, that should be today. So I don't know. Maybe people in the future could tell me what happened. Yeah. Either way. Fingers crossed. <laughs> what? So coming up now would be thirty minutes of me yabbering on about Metroid Prime and how much I love it. Um, mm-hmm. If I'd appreciate it if you'll have a look, it should be good fun. Uh, I recorded it for an emulator as well, so it's quite shiny. So uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for your time, Darren. It's been a pleasure. Not a problem. My pleasure. Thanks, guys, and uh, see you all next time.